Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson, now that we have the opponent able to attack the player, it's a good time to actually begin fleshing out our health scripts. Now, we did create these quite a while ago, but we didn't do much with the player one health and the opponent health needs a few changes. So with that said, let's come and we'll come to the opponent health to begin with. I'm going to come below the void update just before the last close bracket. And we'll create a type public void. Opponent damage will open and close brackets now. We'll open and close again. Okay, something a little different this time. We're going to come inside this first set of brackets and we're going to define an int as underscore damage and let's say damage dealt to opponent now with that in place in fact let's create our debug log first so we'll just create this as we have all the others And we're going to come to the void update and we're going to cut and paste all the code we have in that function into this new one now. And then we'll come to the player one health. Now we're lucky here because we can actually copy and paste a lot of things from the opponent health script. So let's copy the bill for if opponent is defeated. So let's paste that in. Obviously we're going to change that to player. We'll also change the comment and we can also copy the line that makes that equal to false from the void start and we'll paste that into the void start for the player health swap it out with the new naming convention And again, change the comment. So, and in fact, we do need a, another line of code in the opponent damage. And we need to say current opponent health minus equals <clears throat> And then this new naming convention. So basically, it will allow us to pass the value into this new int here when the um, player strikes the opponent. And then it will minus that value from the current health. So we'll close the line off. We'll say minus damage dealt from the opponent's current health. Now with that done, let's just copy that entire function. And we're going to paste that in to the player one health. Now, what we need to do is go through and swap out all the naming 
conventions. So let's have a look if I just copy player. And I'll just paste it in over everywhere it says opponent. And the last one. Again, I'll just copy player. And I'll paste that in to the comments. I'll also tidy them up as I go along. And here where we send a message, it's going to be set player defeated. Although we haven't created that yet. And we'll paste it into the comments. And let's just save that off there. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, um, that's both scripts now. Looking bit more like they should and I'm just going to open up the opponent AI and the player one movement script and we can actually come down let's have a look actually I'm going to come here to set opponent defeated in the opponent AI. Set that to public. And we shall copy all of that function and we'll paste it into the play one movement. So let's have a look. I'll just put it here for now so it now becomes set player defeated copy and paste that into the debug log opponent final hit animation we'll change that to player it's still going to have a red error because we haven't created the function as of yet so state should be player one state, I believe we called it, was it? Let me just come back up, play one state, it had an S on the end. We'll change that in the comments. So this will become player one movement player one states and it will become player defeated so we've got two red errors but we'll fix those now so in fact I put this set opponent defeated just below the actual functions. Let's come back here. I'll cut it and I'll paste it just before the animations.
just so I can keep the layout of both scripts somewhat consistent and we'll need to come to the top of the opponent AI and let's just copy all three animation clips for the hit animations And we'll paste those into the player one movement. Again, we'll just change opponent player. So now we have the animation clips able to be assigned. We'll come back to the opponent AI. And let's find the animations. And we need the opponent final hit animation. Let's copy that. We'll paste that into the uh, play one script. And I'm sorry if you can hear anything in the background. I think somebody's shouting outside. So I do apologise if you can hear that. Seems to be some banging and, and shouting occurring. But um, there's nothing I can really do about that. So we'll just uh, carry on. So we'll swap out the naming convention to this one here. And as you can see that red error has now disappeared. Opponent anim. I think we called this, did we call it player one anim? Yes, we did. Player one anim. This should be player defeated final. There we go. And made a mistake then. I just realised I used the capital P and I shouldn't have. So we just have this one red error to go. As you should be able to see, you can see the red error highlighted there. And we can get rid of that just by creating it in the enum. So player defeated, I'll add it just before last and that red error as you can see here has now gone. But um, we've evened out the script so the opponent health and the player one health are almost the same now. Same with opponent AI and player one movement although this still is that function to create but um, I think we'll leave it here for now and pick this up in the next lesson so as always I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now